Okay, suck it. Um, so where do we start? Um, I've already made a small application that uses the socket. Uh, it's basically uh, some data grids and stuff like that. I always first pick my data grids, uh, put them on the stage, uh, make my layout, and after that I will uh, make an MPC, uh, code based on MPC, and start coding actually. Uh, here you can see what it looks like uh, when published. It's far from finished, but it's only part one, and in part one I will show you how to set up an FTP client. Um, okay, uh, here you can see my folders, my controllers, events, models, views, and the main application. Okay, this is the source. Um, uh, I've made a separate class for the FTP client. Uh, uh, which has a function called OpenFTP client uh, with a server and an event listener added to it. Okay, here you can see uh, what it's calling when it opens the FTP client class. Um, so here's all, here are all my import statements, uh, my variables, and this is the actual function. Oh, also you can see current server, uh, current server static class. I always use static classes for uh, data that needs to be available over the whole application. Um, you just type in the static keyword and throw back an instant of the same class and then it will be updated every time. Uh, this is my initial function which will be called from the main application. Uh, it's making a new FTP client with a server name. Um, Here's the server name, obviously the port is always 21, uh, but you can change it if you want. Uh, here it sets all the information to the global variables. And then calls the init function. Uh, okay, this is where it actually gets um, nice. Uh, it makes a new socket. I've got all this information from uh, go to and learn. I'll show you the website. make it a little smaller so you can see what I'm actually doing. This is a great site, it's got uh, great tutorials, great movie tutorials. Uh, the binary suckers fundamentals is where I all got it and it's from go to and learn .com. Okay, what you actually do is you set up a new socket and listen for information coming back from that socket. Okay, so uh, here we're making a string with the re reads UTF bytes and traces the output back. This is a continuous event that will be called. You can see all oh, if I'm oh here I'm opening the application. And here you see my output what happens when we're reading data from the socket ok, there you see all kinds of codes 220, 331, 230 stuff like that, these are FTP codes uh, I've got them from the internet uh, I've got I went to this site, networksourcery.com but you can also google for FTP protocol commands and you can see all the commands that you need here are the commands you can give the server and these are the commands you get back from the server here you see our first command 220 which you just saw in my code uh, server is ready for a new user and what I also like to do is just open an FTP client see what commands are, be are being given and issue the same commands that my FTP client uses 
Well, obviously the password here, uh, I've changed it by now, or else anybody can log into my server. Okay, this is the most important command, it's the passive mode. Uh, you need that uh, for your FTP server if it needs to work, only the problem is you get back some information from the server and then you have to uh, open a new socket uh, to connect to the server. <coughs> uh, if you go to the passive command, you get back an IP address. And with a port number, it's only in a strange pattern. So here I use rack access. I hate rack access, but um, actually this time I had to use it, so I split it up in multiple parts. Um, here I'm looping through the numbers, uh, adding dots for the IP addresses, and also saving the port number port number is something interesting, uh, the number you get back you have to multiply it by 256 uh, plus the second number you get back from the server and then we plus the socket Here you see the number, all those numbers above, and this is where I extract my IP address and my new port number. Um, then you make a new connection to a new port. Um, initially you have to check if it's connected. If it's connected you give the list command, which retrieves the current dir uh, directory. And after you receive the con connect uh, the directory uh, you have to listen for new uh, information on that socket and that's what I'm doing down here and also of course you get a whole list of directories which are all in ASCII format so you have to parse it all using red access or any other means uh, you know of I press everything then in an array and put it to the current server static class so I can always use the current directory I am in. Okay, uh, this is where I'm showing the code off. Okay, and soon we'll, we'll be back with part two of making an FTP server in Flex.